Oh, that, that's that's very complex. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the Knob Creek single barrel. And this is a special bottle. And if you're following if you are following our vlog on a regular basis in at least I think uh, half a year, then you will recognize this bottle because it has a little red dot on it. And that's the bottle I got from the distillery. And the single barrel reserve is a bottle that you will only get at the Jim Beam Distillery. So, um, what is the Knob Creek? The Knob Creek is the premium brand from Jim Beam, and that means that they select the barrels for the Knob Creek, especially for uh, for a uh, taste flavor profile for flavor profile that they selected for the Knob Creek brand. And I personally had, I think I had a few Knob Creeks and I like it. So um, hopefully the single barrel will not differ too much from, from the others because single barrel um, whiskies always differ a bit from bottling to bottling. You will not never get the same, probably never get the same bottling again because single barrels um, yeah, tend to run out, the individual bottles. Um, the Knob Creek is hand selected, the barrels are selected and they come from usually the, the sweet spot in the warehouse which is about the middle of the warehouse. Yeah, I won't talk too much about the distillery because I've done a whole video about the distillery. I think I've done two videos about the distillery. Um, yeah, so click on the link. This is now the craft distillery before it was the, the normal distillery. Um, yeah, I will break the seal now and have a look how good my whiskey is. All the plastic parts, all the wax parts flying off. And that on the top here is my fingerprint. Hopefully with the camera you can't copy it now. Looks like a plastic cork. And the single barrel here is, um, I think, does it say cask strength? No, it doesn't say cask strength, but it's 60% alcohol, so it's high strength whiskey. So I've prepared a little water for me. Maybe, maybe it is too strong. Maybe it needs to open up. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of in it. Oh, that, that's that's very complex. First thing that comes to my mind is. No, that's vanilla. But there is a bit of a, a nutty flavor that reminds me of something. Nah, it's not almonds, it's 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 walnuts. It's definitely nuts, but what kind of nuts? I would say walnuts. Also a bit of a, a harsh smell. Um, I think that's may maybe the 120 proof. So I'm, I'm not going too too deep in because I already smell a bit of the I get a bit of a smell of alcohol. But still, still very pleasant. Okay. Ooh, very oily. Mmm. 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 Mm. Tasting it in cask strength. Yeah, it is a bit harsh. 60%, you definitely feel the 60%. Mm. Now I can feel all the flavors. Mm. Definitely oak. And then there, there come oh, different woody flavors, I would say. 
it's gives me a dry feeling bit of a, a dried fruit character and now that I'm focusing in I can taste the the walnuts as well mm. so I'll try it with a bit of water as well because I think I'm uh, because of the high strength I'm I'm missing a few aromas Ah, uh, the smell is not that harsh anymore. Mm, did I kill it? From the smell, I, I, I was saying, said, shouldn't have add water because the smell, the smell went down a bit. Hopefully I didn't kill it. Mmm, definitely more pleasant now. Mm. Mm. Still have the oak, but now you have a, mm, a different f a fruitiness, I would say. Mm, I can't quite put my finger on what kind of fruit that reminds me of. It's definitely, it's definitely a sour fruitiness I would I would say it goes in the direction of let's say grapes no I'm not citric maybe a second sip will clear that up Also a bit of a little bit of bitterness I would that reminds me a bit of a, a high percentage chocolate high percentage cacao chocolate mm. maybe a bit of of leather that it's really really ran down into the the darker flavors like I don't know mm. grapey dark chocolate Maybe a hint of, is that a hint of leather? Oh yeah, yeah, a hint of leather. I haven't eaten that much leather yet, so that is like, like that reminds me like I would say how leather would, would smell I have now and taste. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, definitely more complex than, than most of the bourbons you have. That I think, does it say how, how old it is? Aged nine years, so there's, there's quite some some flavors quite some flavors will be transported from the cask into this this bottle and if you have a look at the color it's uh dark definitely dark even if i add a lot of uh if i add some water definitely still dark color so that's a very long matured is it straight bourbon does it say kentucky straight bourbon yeah definitely Kentucky straight bourbon, so fresh casts, nine years. That gives you a lot of oak flavor, and I guess that's where, where these um, all the darker and um, more interesting flavors comes. So it's not a it's not a beginner's whiskey, but it's definitely a whiskey if you have tried some some bourbons and you say, okay, I want to have something that is more more interesting, then go for the uh, Knob Creek. Um, I'm not sure what the, the normal one is called, but you get this not as a single barrel, but um, I think there's selected barrel or something also not matured nine years. That is very similar to the single barrel. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, then please share it with the friends that might be interested to this. Thank you for watching.